Hey, Microsoft, do you think you could have hid the allow 4K option just a little bit better? I think you should have put it in the network settings. A lot of people complaining that they can't get 4K to work on a gaming monitor or 120 hertz. What's going on today, YouTube? Be sure to subscribe, tap the bell notification if you haven't already. A lot of people complaining that they can't get 4K to work on a gaming monitor or 120 hertz. First, let's go ahead and take a look at how you guys are going to get 120 hertz and 1080 working on your PC monitor which is going to be for like competitive shooters and stuff like that. There are a lot of gaming monitors out there that will not recognize automatically on the Xbox Series X. And you're going to have to go in and you're going to have to tweak a few things to make it display 120 hertz. Let me show you exactly how we're going to do that right now. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is if you want to get 120 hertz, you're going to go into your settings over here. And this is pretty much required on a majority of computer monitors. Not all of them. I'm not saying it's going to be like this for every last one of them, but you're going to go into general TV and display options. You can see it's 1080p resolution, but we're not getting the 120 hertz. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over here to video fidelity and overscan. We're going to click that and under display, you can see overrides. Auto detect is recommended for most TVs and monitors, but some are going to require you to go into HDMI override. We're going to do that and click on use manual settings. Once we do that, you're going to see it refreshes. It looks terrible. It's really small in the center of the screen. What we're going to do now is we're going to back out of that and you can see it's 640 by 480p. We're going to click on that and go up to 1080p. Now, once that is completed, Full 1080 is now working. And if you guys want to switch to 120 hertz, there you go. That's how you set it up on a typical gaming monitor like the BenQ Zowie uh, 2740, which is the one that I have right now. And quite a few monitors are going to require this. Now, if you want to set it up on a 4K monitor instead of a TV, it's not going to be a problem whatsoever. Most monitors, like I said, will auto detect. Now it's time to set up 4K. There are some people that are not only complaining that they're not getting 4K, they want to know why when they go in the share and capture menu, they're not getting 4K capture. And you guys are going to see right here, it only does 1080p. There's no 4K option. You cannot record in any resolution that you can't display. So if you don't have a 4K monitor, you will not be able to record 4K. So first we gotta go over to the TV and display options and get this situation fixed immediately so you guys can see 4K. We're gonna leave it on auto detect. So we went back into general video fidelity and overscan and we've got it set to auto detect. What we're gonna do now is once we've got this connected to a 4K monitor, we're gonna go over to video modes under advanced. And you guys are gonna see right here on the general video modes, it's gonna say allow 4K and allow HDR10 or auto HDR. If you guys have HDR on your TV, go ahead and select that now, whichever applies to you for the HDR and definitely check the allow 4K. Once you do that, it's going to switch and it's going to go to 4K on your monitor. Now that we're back here on the general TV and display options, you can click on resolution right here and you can see now there is a 4K option. Go ahead and click that to set the resolution to 4K, let it switch over. And now that that is complete, we're gonna go ahead and keep that setting. We're gonna go right below it and we're going to select 60 Hertz, which is pretty much already 60 Hertz. So we are now set at 4K. That pretty much solves that issue. We're gonna back all the way out. We're going to go into the share and capture menu down here on the settings. You guys can see once we're in the preferences for capture and share, we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and now you can see not only 720p for three minutes, 1080p for one minute, we now have 4K for 30 seconds. And that is the maximum amount of time you guys can record for 4K. I know that really does suck, but that's just how it is right now. PlayStation allows you to capture a lot more. The Xbox Series X does capture an MP4, which is an H.264 codec. Uh, it's an HAVC, which is a high efficiency video codec and that's how it captures. So if you have a Windows machine, you may have to download the codec. If you're on Mac, especially any of the new operating systems on Mac within the last two to three years, it's gonna play automatically. So you guys can also set up your profiles, which I'm gonna show you right here. You can configure your different profiles for your controller. 
profile one and profile two. If I click on profile one, I'll show you guys I have it set to one button press as a screenshot. Hold the button is to start and stop recording. So that's how I have that set up right there. Uh, pretty easy and straightforward. I just wanted to show you guys this because it, 4K is kind of hidden. It's not automatic. You're going to have to do a little bit of, you know, work in the options menu. Not really work, but you're going to have to set it over to 4K. It's not going to come automatically like most other consoles. Hey, Microsoft, do you think you could have hid the allow 4K option just a little bit better? Heck, I think you should have put it in the network settings. I know it's a little bit of a bummer. It doesn't come automatically. It is kind of somewhat hidden over there in the menu settings. And if you're new to consoles or new to Xbox, it's quite easily overlooked. In fact, that's why some people were complaining about it. It was kind of hidden in the second and third menu. I mean, you have to go into settings. Then you got to go into the TV display settings. Then you got to go into the video modes. Then you have to allow 4K. It's hidden decently in there if you're not a high-tech person or never played on Xbox before, or if you're just coming from Xbox One and never really thought about it, you just plugged in your system and played and didn't care about 4K until now, it really does become somewhat of an issue because of the way it's hidden. I know it does suck, but I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to allow 4K, and a lot of monitors you're going to have to override. And that's another thing about the monitors. It's not just the TV settings and the 4K. I wanted to show you guys how on some monitors that are 1080, how to get 100 120 hertz. So hopefully guys, you learned something today and it helped you out. Thank you so much for stopping in. Be sure to subscribe, tap the bell notification guys if you enjoy the content and check out the next upload or live streams. I appreciate you guys stopping in. Thank you so much. In these strange times out there, I want you guys to be safe and I will see all of you on the next upload. Take care guys. Peace.